Hey, 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 chefs, it is Evelyn here, and I wanted to pop on and talk very briefly about is your business or brand appealing, right? And uh, I hope you guys got a chance to watch the Chefpreneur Workshop replay, uh, and if you did, please let me know in the comments, you know, what did you learn, if you learned anything, uh, what was your aha moment, what questions you have, anything like that. And uh, I want to talk about, is your brand or business appealing? Because one of the things we know as chefs is that it doesn't matter how delicious our food is, right? That if that plate is not appealing, then people are already going to have not the best experience with it, right? So even if the food is like super, super delicious, if we don't present it in a way that is pleasing to the eye, even if somebody has a good experience, they could have had a fantastic experience, right? So I want to talk about this because I see a lot of times with chefs and I look at, you know, their social media, I look at their websites, I look at their, you know, their marketing materials and their brand looks not that appetizing. And so if anybody should have a delicious looking, appetizing, appealing brand, it should be chefs. And that doesn't just mean the pictures of food, right? There is a definitely an art to taking pictures of food, um, but also to making your brand very visually appealing. And so um, one of the things that I'm going to be teaching in the Chefpreneur Academy is about making your brand beautiful, right? Because when people encounter you for the first time, they're automatically making a decision about how much they want to spend with you, whether or not they can afford you, whether or not you're a professional or a hobbyist, you're just kind of trying to make it work and doing it on the side by your brand, right? And I had um, an experience with that today. I was on the phone with a potential client for another corporate booking for a very, 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 very high profile client. And I'll come back and tell you guys, once the contracts are signed, I don't want to jinx it. Um, and she was looking through my speaker services kit, right? So because I do a lot of personality work as a chef, I have a speaker and services kit. And, uh, you know, she was looking. So while we were on the phone, she was going through my marketing materials and she got to a certain section and was like, oh, yes, all my clients going to love to see this or whatever, whatever. Oh, this is so well put together. And one of the reasons why she said she reached out to me is that I came, A, I came highly recommended. Two, she could tell I was a professional. And three, she wanted to put someone who was polished, professional and experienced in front of this high profile client, right? And so I know that while I know I know I can cook, that while I know I try to serve my clients in the highest capacity when I'm working with them, I know an element of that is that when I sit when when they when they when I send them my marketing materials, when they go to my website, when they look at my social media, they're like, oh, she's a professional, right? Because I was telling you, how many times have you heard something about a brand? It doesn't even have to be food related. And what's the first thing you do? You go look for their website or you go look for their social media. And if they don't have one or if it's hard to get in contact with them or, you know, they're not branded. Well, you're kind of like, oh, are they a real business? The same thing applies to us, you guys. I know there are some businesses in 2018, if you don't have a website, I'm not even then I don't even think you're serious, right? Because everything is very social. Everybody wants to know, what does your Instagram account look like if you have one for your business? What does your Facebook account look like? Your YouTube, your Twitter, whatever, you know, whatever you're using as your social media marketing, what does your website look like? What do your brand materials look like? What do you look like when you show up for a gig, right? Do you look professional? Is your brand cohesive, right? And so um, I know some of you, a couple of several of you actually have reached out to me for one-on-one -on -one brand work. And so um, I am looking forward to hopefully working with some of you guys on that uh, because I uh, I do brand strategy. I'm the chef strategist, if you didn't know. And so, uh, but I want to make sure that, you know, you take a nice, hard look 
an objective look at your brand and not as your baby, not as, oh, this is my baby, and go, if I didn't know me, and just based on what I see, would I hire me? Is my brand self-explanatory? Is my brand business name easy to spell? Does my brand business name make sense with what I do? Right? So just some things to think about that make sure you have a cohesive look and feel across all of your platforms, making sure that your brand is visually appealing just like anything that you would serve a client, serve at a restaurant, right? Serve if you're doing catering buffet style. You know, you want it to be visually appealing. We that is one of one of the things of our job. And so expectations for chefs is a little bit higher. And I'm always amazed uh, at the lack of uh beautiful brands I see for chefs. And so I'm like, we know about composition. We know about color. We know about dimension, right? We know how to make that look plate look good. We know when that plate needs more color and it needs this and that or whatever, but we need to take that same eye, right? And use that eye on our brand. So just kind of want to pop in and talk about that briefly. And wanted to let you know that the Shepherd Newer Academy um, is open for registration and will be open until April the 9th because we start on April the 10th. Um, if you want more information about it, you can go to bit.ly, all lowercase, forward slash chefs, chefs Academy, right? And I'll put it in the comments here, you guys. Um, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bit dot l y forward slash chefs academy 